the Soviets developed several heavy armored vehicles, whose names were attributed to Defense Commissar politician Klimit Voroshilov. These were abbreviated with the acronym KV. The KV-1 entered service in 1940. It was a heavy tank for its time, with low speed of movement but virtually immune to the cannons of enemy tanks that year. Also in 1940, the KV-2 appeared on the battlefield, a tank with an atypical shape. Its tall turret had a 152mm cannon, a firepower capable of destroying any World War II tank. But few KV-2s were built, as they were ineffective in combat. They were terribly slow and heavy, and their shots were inaccurate.